Now that you've learned the basics of how you can integrate an Equid online store into RapidWeaver, I want to show you some more advanced ways of how you can integrate the store into a Stacks page. So to do this, go to your Equid dashboard and then click on Create Your Online Store or Step 2 of the Setup Wizard. Then click the Yes I Have a Website and then click on Other Platform. This is going to give us some HTML snippets we can use to add certain parts of our store into a Stacks page. So for example here you can see the product browser snippet is displayed here and that will show the actual products in our page. We can get a category snippet, a mini cart and a search box. So let's start with the product browser. Copy the code inside of this text area here and then go back to your RapidWeaver project. I'm then going to add a new page and I'm going to go all plugins and stacks. We'll call this stack store. And then what I'll very quickly do is set up a foundry page. So I'm going to add some foundry styles. Let's add a nav bar. And then we'll add a container and some columns. Okay, so if I preview that now, well, first of all, actually, I need to ensure I have the foundry theme applied. So I'll go and search for that here, like so. Then if I go and preview that, you'll see all we get is a default, uh, very basic Foundry navigation bar with a link to our store page and our Stacks store page. Okay, once you've got that set up, let's go and look at how we can use those Equid HTML snippets inside the page here. So to do that, we want an HTML stack. So go to the default Stacks library and drag HTML into the column here. Then what I'm going to do is paste in the code that was provided on the Equid store. Once I've done that, if I go to preview, you'll see that in the left hand column here, we get that store layout. So again, that's pretty simple. We haven't had to do any work and our products are displayed inside a stacks page inside of that left hand column. So if I click on one of the products, you'll see that we still can add that to our cart and so on. Okay, so what we can do here, or the power that we get here, is that we can adjust the layout options inside of Foundry, for example. So if I just hide the stacks library there, if, for example, we wanted the left-hand column to be wider than the right-hand column, we could customize our columns here. And I'm going to, on the tablet breakpoint, I'm going to say the column one width is nine and column two is three. I'm going to turn off the desktop breakpoint and there you'll see it gets updated. Now if I go and preview again, you'll see that the store area gets wider and then we have this blank right hand column. So if we wanted to add some other content into here, if we go back to Safari, let's for example say we want a search box. We can go to the search box snippet, copy that code, go back to RapidWeaver into edit mode. We'll add another HTML snippet into the right hand column this time. And then we're going to paste that content into there. Now when we go to preview, you can see that the search bar is up in the right hand column. Now obviously we would need to add some padding and a little bit more design to this, but hopefully you're starting to see the power that we have here by using the Equid HTML snippets inside of a stacks page we get both the simplicity of an online store with Equid and also the layout power that we get with Stacks. So for example, if we wanted to come back and change this, if for example, let's go to Foundry and we had a banner, we could just drop a banner inside of here. And then we wanted the search box in, inside of the banner and we wanted the store to be the full width we could say we just have one column and we'll stop customizing those so that it takes up the full width. If we go back to preview here, you'll see we then have a big banner area with our search box and then we have our full width store below. Now again, you're gonna wanna style this. This is just an example for you, just a very quick example to show you how you can integrate this into a stacks page. Okay, let's do one more example before we wrap this up. So if, for example, we want the categories as well, let's copy that in here, go back to RapidWeaver and edit. We will duplicate this HTML snippet here, and then I'm gonna paste that in there, like so. And just to show you that we can integrate some 
standard static content in as well. Let's go ahead and find a header. And we'll just call this Ben's store, like so. And we'll set that to be centered. And let's perhaps set this to a color picker text. So we'll set this to be white, like so. And if we go and preview that, you'll then see I've got my header, I've also got my search terms, and I've got my categories. Again, this doesn't look very good, but you get the idea. You can mix and match the Equid HTML snippets with other stack content. So that'll do it for this video. Hopefully you're starting to see the power of mixing and matching the Equid HTML snippets inside of the Stacks plugin there. Now the great thing with using Equid inside of RapidWeaver is that anytime you make a change on your Equid dashboard, that will instantly be reflected on your RapidWeaver store. So all you need to do is publish this page up once, then when you want to make any edits, you go to your dashboard area, you can add new products in the catalog area, you can add additional categories if you want, you can add and remove products from the store front page, everything you want to do such as adding products or categories or anything like that, you can do on the Equid dashboard area and as I say that will be instantly reflected on your live RapidWeaver website.